So just a little bit ago, I was recording some tutorials, and when I was done, I imported them to Caden Live to uh, edit them. And here's an example. I'll drag this one down here, and you'll notice if you look at the audio line here um, that uh, I only have audio on one channel. Now the reason for that is that my mic is a mono mic, and normally before I start recording, I'll open up Patchage uh, like so. And I'll do what I have right here, and I just take the the one channel, since my, my uh, microphone's mono, and pipe it into both uh, left and right inputs on my jack, um, Pulse Audio jack source, and just don't connect the one. But I forgot to do that. So in this case, the audio sounds fine, but it's all coming out of one speaker. So how can I quickly... Um, change it from uh, stereo to mono basically is what I'm looking to do here. Uh, I was hoping Caden Live might have a, an option here, so I type in mono and they have mono to stereo, but they don't have the other way around. Well, that's no problem. It's easy enough to fix uh, with FFmpeg without losing any quality in your video. So here I am. I'm in the folder here that um, has uh, those files, that file in it. I can list it out here. It's actually this one, the FizzBuzz test in bash so what I'm going to do oh look this is the video we're recording right now okay anyway <laughs> we're gonna go ffmpeg dash i and our input file which in this case is fizzbuzz blah 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 and um, I just hit tab to autocomplete there especially normally I do not put uh, spaces and file names I just want to clarify that but since I upload these to YouTube and um, so normally I would use underscores, but YouTube will add those underscores and then searching through stuff, it won't detect them. So the only time I don't, I, I do put spaces in my file names is for videos I'm uploading to YouTube. So no one give me a hard time for that because I just explained why I did that. Anyway, uh, I'm going to do dash V codec. So the video codec, the compression that we're going to use on the video. And I'm just going to say copy. So it's not going to do anything to the video. It's just going to copy the video to a new file. So it will do it quickly and without any loss. As far as audio, you can give it other options of what type of audio format you want and how many uh, kilobytes per second you want and all that. But what we're going to do, I'm just going to let it do whatever it does for default for the audio. And I'm going to say dash AC for audio channels, one. So it will basically take the stereo file, put it to mono, and then I'll resave the output file same name, but I'll add a, a 2 at the end here. And you'll see, boom, that didn't take long at all. And that's like a 2-minute video that we just... Oh, no, I'm sorry, that's a 10-minute video. So all I had to do was copy over uh, the video file. And the only thing I had to recompress was the audio file. So now I can import uh, this one here. Drag it down here. And as you can see, it is now a mono. So it should come out of both speakers. Um, I could obviously do the same thing the other way around and change that AC1 to AC2 to split it into two channels. Um, but in this case, it doesn't matter that this audio is mono because it's all coming in through one mic. There isn't stereo audio. And um, when I export from Caden Live, if I choose a stereo file, it will automatically split, split stereo anyway. So I just wanted to show you how to do that. Check out the link in the description. I'll have that one-liner code in there for you to look at. Um, and uh, my site's filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with the K. And I hope that you have a great day.